Hey YouTube, welcome back to Backcountry Air Force. Sorry it's been so long. We had a couple months of projects that have been uh, <laughs> really intense. We've completely remodeled the whole front of the house, uh, taken down the stone wall, repainted everything. My wife did an excellent job. And then uh, a really good friend of mine built the porch for me. Been working on the ditch, trying to get the drainage to run off the runway a little bit better so that we can keep on flying. Here's all the stone we took from the wall. That's eventually gonna case out the post and then uh, hopefully, if my back can handle it, we'll be building a fireplace. And then I did spend quite a bit of time. Uh, my brother helped me out actually, and uh, he's a Navy guy, so it was kind of hard because he kept saying like port and starboard and whatever the hell that means. The cool project is my new tug. Uh, built this out of a electric wheelchair and I'm pretty stoked about it so basically most of the wheelchair parts still remain uh, the motors are the same um, the, pretty much most of the carriage is the same but this whole middle piece is what I rebuilt so um, basically this has a swivel uh, and a hinge so that hinge is up runs up into the nose wheel the nose wheel gets picked up into the cradle and the nose wheel stays straight so there's no stress on it there's no torque on it whatsoever right now i'm still using the original uh, toggle switch for the tug but eventually i'd like it to be uh, completely remote control i just don't know how to do that yet so i gotta learn about that we got the tires chalked in the back so it doesn't go backwards and the brake on Hey, if anybody has a catchy name that's not taken, let me know in the comments below. But put the carriage up, and we're gonna try one-handed to hold the controller, drive it right up there. Break, break off, and we are off to the races. And, just so you can see, it can swivel all the way around without hitting anything. Pull the brakes back on. That's it, works pretty well. So we're gonna put this thing up, pre-flight the airplane, and go for a flight. Lucy Dallas, come on. Now I gotta close the hangar so that no dust or microbes get in because my wife is so OCD. Very accomplished pilot named Joy Bowden told me on my first lesson. Don't fly in boots, fly barefoot. So 
Alright, we're gonna keep 10 degrees of flaps. 